and they've shown that Ben Shapiro is actually a very effective stopping point. That is to say, he serves a very important de-radicalization function. And for that reason, I think, um, you know, there's a real utility to the Susan Wozniak or whatever, which is Jackie Wojcinski, Wojak, <laughs> Wojak <laughs> Susan. But uh, there's a real utility to the uh, to the censors say that, look, these people are an off ramp. They're de-radicalizers. They'll go and they'll watch Lex Fridman. And in many cases, and again, nothing against these people personally, but there is a kind of fool's trade whereby a certain type of talking head will earn your tr trust by saying controversial things like boys have penises and girls have vaginas. And in exchange for that trust, will shove down orthodoxies on everything else down your throat. And that is a very important de-radicalization effort. And there's a whole cluster of people who may fit that description. And I think it's fair to say that um, the Lex phenomenon may be adjacent to to all of that. Or Ben Shapiro, you know, telling yeah. people to take medical procedures. Um, also, right. Ben Shapiro gets a lot of his traffic from Facebook. Overwhelmingly, a well, lot. Well, he has a, the Daily Wire. I've, yeah. I've heard. Well, if you look at the number one shared kind of articles on Facebook, yeah. it's usually Daily Wire. It's no, usually it's, ben again, Daily Daily Wire is the Lex Fridman of Facebook. <laughs> and mm. and it's not accidental. I, I, I've heard, I'm not going to say for a fact, but I've heard on good authority, Shapiro has a great relationship with Zuckerberg. And they've had the great relationship for a long time. And again, it's there's a utility to having Ben Shapiro, who's very reliable on the key things, being basically as right wing as you can be and not punished by the algorithms. Right. There's a utility to that in terms of how the larger conversation is controlled. Right.